Good employer branding is like blocking and tackling. It's like getting your game face on or your best dress on. You kind of, you know, if you want to give a good impression to everybody out there, you have to do it. So my simple top tips, if I'm thinking about my top three things that I would want people, uh, want companies or startups to consider when they're thinking about employer branding, is say something. Have a point of view. Get it out there. Uh, anything's better than saying nothing. And quite often times, companies have got lots of information, lots of, lot, they've done the work inside their company. They know what good looks like. They know their vision. They know their mission. They've got it up on the walls but they don't put it on the website, they don't get it out onto their uh, social channels. Your team can be your megaphone, that's the second thing. I uh, was working recently with uh, one of our startup companies and they've just got a list of everybody in their team. Like, well, how, why have you got a list? That's just giving away your team list to a headhunter to try and poach your people. They kind of gulped and said, oh no, that's not why we did it. I said, well, Actually, if you think about it as being a megaphone, so have your people, as your, you know, your team as just photo shots or video shots, where they they say and they articulate what it is that they do, why it is that they work there, and what they think is amazing about the company that they're a part of. Fantastic megaphone opportunity for your business. The third thing is to talk about values. So. We, well, I definitely recommend that on every role description, on, on every piece of marketing collateral, you talk about the behaviours that are rewarded uh, and praised and valued in your team members. And so as part of an employer branding exercise, specifically as relates to talent, I think that's a fantastic tool. Pipelining is a really interesting question and I definitely believe in it. I think there are a number of different channels that you need to deploy when you're looking to hire a team. And it kind of depends who you're looking for and how many, at what time, in what, in what geography and on what level. So the, in answer to your question about whether you need to have a, a, a pipeline of talent there and waiting, if you can and you've got the luxury of knowing what it is that you want to hire and being able to articulate that and go out to find those people who might be kind of game ready ahead of time then I think that's an awesome thing to do. The reality is however that you often don't have it so lots of startups don't have a, a way to pipeline talent. There's some fantastic technology tools out there. Social media search, search do a really good one. Candidate ID is another great one. They uh, track, they, they identify your total addressable market for you based on keywords and skill set. And then they track based on behavior online whether they're ready to move. And I think that's a fantastic tool. If you don't have talent pipelines available to you, then there are specific ways that you can build them when you start a hiring program or hiring project. But if you can do it ahead of time, I think it's a fantastic advantage. And I've been really impressed. I think you guys have done an awesome job of, coll of collating and bringing companies and startup talent together in a massive way. I, honestly, it's still my number one problem, getting enough really decent high quality candidates into the top of the funnel so that the com companies in our portfolio can match uh, and decide whether they're right for them, to so select them. It's, uh, it's amazing to see all these people out here uh, looking for roles in startup and companies that are hoping to hire them. So it, in a way it brings what Jobio does on the website 24-7 you know, to life in a real 3D version and I think it's brilliant.